celebrating the baby boomer lifestyle. This is Boomer Life with Sterling Fox on AM 650. Hey, welcome back to the program. In studio with me is Dr. Lawrence Chen, who is a co-founder of the Integrative Naturopathic Medical Center, which is at 1285 West Broadway in Vancouver. You may have heard of them before as Integrative Healing Arts. They've just undergone a bit of a metamorphosis, a name change, and Dr. Chen explained it all to us a few minutes ago. Just, uh, It's all about just progressing, isn't it? More than anything else, it's just staying with the program and uh, being right on, on the leading edge. Absolutely, and we want to just continue to be able to serve uh, our clients that we have last 30 years. So. Talk to us about some of the programs and services at I- Integrative, uh, Dr. Larry. Um, well, mention um, the, one, of the, one of the most important ones we do is actually um, um, looking at uh, evaluating diet and, and for, for, for immune system function. That's okay. an important one. Uh, a lot of people come in with... Um, you know, there's a lot of autoimmune problems that are going on now. Mostly, uh, autoimmune represents a term that is, we're not sure what's happening. Uh, medically, when you have an autoimmune disorder, it's right. like something's happening, we're not sure what's causing it. Yeah, we, uh, we just lost uh, the wonderful film director, Harold Ramis, a week or so ago. And he had a, had a four-year battle with some type of autoimmune disease. Right. What is autoimmune? What does that mean? That's exactly what it is. It says somehow your immune system is being attacked, attacking itself. Why does that happen? No one really knows. Mm-hmm. But the bottom line is we believe is that, is that it's caused by uh, the body's breakdown of communication within itself oh and it doesn't recognize itself in the same way anymore and that's caused by body toxins over the years and if you accumulate toxins and environmental influences that's a key thing because when we think of genetics we hear of genetics and healing and genetics and sickness um, genetics don't account for a huge amount of, of issues our genes provide us a kind of a blueprint to work from mm-hmm. but it's our environmental contact and exposure that determines how we express those genes. What I mean by that is that you may be predisposed to have arthritis or lung cancer. Because of family history. Family history. Right, sure, yeah. But if you don't smoke, right, and you take good care of yourself, you really reduce those risk factors. And right. you may never express that. Mm-hmm. But if you work in a factory that has that air pollution, if you work in, live in an urban center and you smoke, it may manifest much more quickly. Okay. So that's the environmental influence on how we express our genes. So really the whole idea of, of you know, wellness and, 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 and sickness is, and autoimmunity is about that because a lot of people are now manifesting unknown autoimmune diseases of unknown cause because it's really a, our system's breakdown of communication to the environmental exposure. So autoimmune means that somehow or another your ability to fight certain uh, invasive diseases is compromised? It's compromised, but also you're fighting some of your own cells even. Really? Yeah, you may recognize your own cells as being uh, uh, enemies, so you're attacking your own bone structure. Okay. So some of the uh, arthritis are like that. You're attacking your own cells with inflammation. So the whole idea is then how do we determine how your immune status is and how can we clear away the underlying causes of that? Could it be toxicity? Could it be hormonal imbalances, could be mental emotion factors that are there as well, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which is a big one because as your mind goes off and, and your stress level goes, that can also uh, have tremendous influence on how your body expresses itself as well. Okay, now one of the other programs you've also identified already, and that's the whole matter of age management. Right. Uh, but uh, let's, can, if you don't mind, can I t- uh, stop you up for a second on this whole emotional thing? Because frankly, I, I don't know that when we have these conversations, however reluctantly, about being boomers and, and recognizing a certain degree of deterioration going on in our lives, um, one of the things that doesn't get talked about very much, Dr. Larry, is the emotional component to aging. And that produces some different uh, reactions in different people. So talk to us about your experience uh, as a medical practitioner with the emotional aspects of aging. The emotional aspects of aging is huge in terms of, um, of, of how it presents to us, especially you know, right across the spectrum of age. But we'll take the, the boomer or the, or, the, or the aging individual more. Okay. Right? Above 50 years old. All right. Say. It becomes more relevant um, uh, with a number of things going on. Of course, socialization patterns change, uh, socioeconomic things are all there. We can't control those things, but we can look at what medically brings to the table. 
if you're loaded with, uh, let's say, toxins, it can affect, like say, mercury toxicity in the body that can be f- had from eating tuna, too much tuna or, or seafood, or else uh, uh, from dental amalgams that may have leaked in. Mm. They all have neurotoxins in it. They can okay. affect mood. They can affect neurological symptoms as well and systems. So you can have everything from Parkinson's to also depression caused by toxic minerals in the body. That has to be uh, identified and eliminated as well. So you hear, you hear children, our children, uh, complaining about us, saying things amongst themselves when they don't think we're listening, <laughs> about, you know, uh, sometimes he gets a little moody. You right. know, he gets cut, he barks at me. He never used to do that. What's up with that stuff? And so some of it could be from toxic, but the other one could be just from the fact that as we age, our hormones change as well. And a couple of good examples would be um, for men. Uh, as you... You know, men you, you run a lot of testosterone. It's part of what makes us who we are and right. gives us confidence, gives us drive. It makes a young man be able to do all kinds of crazy things. And, and as they go into uh, business life, they can be, take chances and calculate chances as, as with good testosterone drive. Okay. And they can beat down an executive boardroom because they're, they've got the testosterone going and they're sure. But you hit into the 60s, late 50s, 60s, as your testosterone really drops by about 70%. Mm, okay. It's a large drop. What happens is that your, your emotional content can also fall. You cannot have a le- lot less confidence as well. That coupled with the fact that you're, you're going into your career and maybe stopping work at the same time, that individual male who is never expressive emotionally much in his time now becomes more isolated. Right. He can have a lot, lot more feelings of depression and lack of security. Because work is winding down. The, yeah. the uh, light at the end of the tunnel is quite clear. And, they're dead and, and their identity starts changing. Right, right. right. And so they're actually getting the testosterone is lower, so their the confidence is waning a bit. Well, and you hear about this, Dr. Larry, in, the tr- in terms of retirement. Yes. You hear people, you know, they stop working, and then they, you know, it's that, uh, it's that uh, freedom 55. Remember all that right. t- fallacy from back in, in the 80s? Anyway, we retire and suddenly discover... Gosh, you know, it's it's not our golden years. It's kind okay. of boring. Uh, it's frankly a little depressing, and I'm just feeling out of sorts. Exactly. Where's the fun in retirement? And you hear that a, a surprising amount of times. It's very common, and w- but but you're, like you said, it, it, we're supposed to be feeling great because of Freedom 55, right? Right, sure. But that didn't happen. And some of that is hormonal. And if you look at the person like that and say, measure their testosterone levels, and suddenly it's rock bottom, and you alter that a little bit and balance it out, that person may come back feeling much more engaged again. What well, we hear much about it, we hear about it in, in, in the context of women taking uh, estrogen supplements, uh, and, and, and it's fairly common. It's been that way for a long time. But do guys get advised by doctors to take testosterone supplements to sort of keep some minimal level at play? You know, as a as for mental emotional factors, not so much. Usually, men will come in with. Uh, Complaints of erectile dysfunction. That's a typical on ED. Okay. And that's how it starts. But really, it's not more than just erectile function. It's really about that, which is also important because that determines sexual health. If you have poor sexual health and sexual drive and libido, again, men lose their confidence. Mm-hmm. And that messes that up as well. So we should use things like testosterone. We should use nutrients that support a healthy system that doesn't block testosterone. Some foods have too much estrogen, which makes our testosterone even lower. Mm, okay. And that's why a lot of men have the m- m- middle fat in, the, in their belly. It's because of estrogen content in the body. Men shouldn't have too much estrogen, but foods in our environment create estrogen compounds in our body. Interesting. And that blocks testosterone. So when that occurs, these men may have a lot of problems physiologically, energetically, confidence, and mood-wise based upon that. Now, okay. Women, on the other hand, we know a little bit more about them because... They, we talk about menopause. Yes. So men, men can be caused andropause, but women can be caused menopause. And menopause, we know that estrogen and progesterone falling can produce all kinds of symptoms, such as uh, erratic behavior, those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Well. And that's where you get into hormone replacement therapy, therapy right. HRT, right? right. Yeah. We've had a lot of women that, that either, they may either were top, top executives, and they'll come in and say to me, says, you know, everything's really good, but my life is fantastic. I've got a great marriage, great kids. My job's been fantastic. Why am I depressed all the time? Why do I feel so bad? Interesting, right? I, you know, I cry more. I'm standing up in a podium giving a speech that I've given a hundred times, and I forget my words. Why does that happen? And it's because sometimes it's also hormonal factors. Right. You know, yes, there's also toxicity factors as well, but 
hormones make a big difference. And those people, we balance our hormones. They may suddenly go, it's like nine days. Someone turned that back to switch on. Right. Yeah. Need to take a break. Just before we go, you talk a lot about toxicity in the body. Yeah. Is there a test any person can take that, and I, I know we're an instant gratification crowd here, uh, tough to deal with at times, but is there a test that we can take, you know, kind of a prick the finger blood type, t- type test that will, will let us know if we got all this bad stuff floating around, or is it more complicated than that? It's more complicated. We definitely measure certain to- toxicities, such as uh, heavy battles and things like that, for sure. We should look at the hormone levels and how your body deals with it. We also need to look at the terrain of the body. How does your body... How is the acid base balance? Those things will all give us ideas of toxicity. And is the testing method usually uh, blood related? Blood or saliva. Or, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, all right. Related. Our guest is Dr. Lawrence Chan, <laughs> co founder of the Integrative Naturopathic Medical Center, still at 1285 West Broadway, up there on the seventh floor, and online at integrative.ca. Fascinating uh, boomer life, Dr. Larry. And we're back with more right after this quick timeout on AM650. Canada's only weekly radio show dedicated to the baby boomer lifestyle. This is Boomer Life on AM 650.